Hi, Kim Hothead here uh, with an old friend who, uh, how long have we known each other? About five years. Five years? You know, I also knew you from uh, years ago. Yeah. Yeah, before I was bearded, hey? Yeah. Yeah. But we've reconnected the last few years, which is yeah. kind of cool. Um, so you came to Thaw Victoria because you uh, wanted to... Uh, Change the light. I uh, just want to let the viewers know that you want to do more. We're going to put this one up on YouTube. Introduce, uh, what's your first, do you want, what, what's your yeah, name? Ethel. Yeah, introduce Ethel to Thaw YouTube audience. And we're going to see more of Ethel. Ethel may end up wanting to do a, you know, documentary about herself. And we're encouraging other people to come forward and do these little shorts because maybe a bunch of shorts will be the next documentary. Um, I appreciate you coming and sharing. And I appreciate that you've been involving yourself with the committee. You've been coming out. You offered to do Bannock. Yeah. What, what nation are you from? I'm, I'm Ethel Williams. I'm from Howzit. Howzit. Yeah. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. Yeah. So and whenever we, whenever somebody needs something, we're there. Yeah. You got some stories? Yes, I do. Well, with the, with the homeless. I used to be a homeless person, too. So and I was out on the streets with um, my three youngest children. Wow. And when, when I did, got this bad with uh, cancer in my stomach, so I, I fought to get housing. I went against the government to, to find housing. Yep. And it's like, like they should, for them, they should be able to build more housing for the homeless. And that's what I'm going to be there to fight for them too. And I have my, my own uh, business advocate. And I got my license to be an advocate. Sweet. Good. I've been noticing you coming out yeah. lately. Is your health a little bit better? That's why we're yeah. seeing you more? Yeah. 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 I'm feeling a lot better because um, I do a lot of exercise. I take um, insurance to gain weight. And so I, I, I did a lot. I, I traveled the world with the Aboriginal rights. Mm, cool. How long ago did you do that? Um, last year. Sweet. Yeah. Not that long ago. They were, they were trying to take her status card to win. But I fought it. And I went totally against Stephen Harper. Good for you. Yeah. yeah. I told him, I said, you have no rights. I said, you try to stay out there for one night and see how you like it. So how long were you homeless for? I was homeless for about a year. Yeah. yeah. I was sleeping outside with my children. And during that time you are saying, was that during that time was your health bad? Yes, it was. And did it get? It got a lot worse and then I went in, I'd been in the hospital, in and out of the hospital. Was there cancer, it's just like it's spreading so fast where yeah. I'm trying to fight it. What, uh, when you go for housing, to try and find housing in the last few years, what, what, what happens? What usually happens? Well, when I apply for housing, I get denied because I'm First Nations. And they say that, well, we can't rent to First Nations because they wreck, they party, they do drugs and blah, blah, blah. But then I said, you know what? I said, I'm not one of those First Nations. I am First Nations, but I'm just because one made a mistake, it doesn't mean another one. All of us are all the same. So yeah. it is true that uh, people are stigmatized then. Yeah. Are the hardest you... part is for for me to like realize where um, yeah there there are some Aboriginal people who do drink and do drugs. And the reason why is that is because we all went to residential school. We went through a lot of things at home. Yeah. For me, I was uh, sexually abused from my father. Yeah. And then they brought me to residential school for nine years. And then I went into foster care. So it's just like, for me, it's hard. It's a lot of pain. It is. Like, for now, I'm going into uh, South Lane Treatment Center for uh, residential school trauma. Good for you. Yeah. It's going to be hard, though. but. Yeah. I know I can do it if I can fight my cancer, I can fight that. Would you say that you get healthy food every day? 
Uh, sometimes because uh, where I'm at now is Butte County. And that's a very bad place to live. But it's a roof over my head, right? Yeah. And it's like for welfare, I've been asking them for my yearly bus pass and they get, they get me a bus pass, but they got it for 2012. And I went up to them and I said, excuse me, I said, how do you expect me to use this? It's 2013. And they've been denying me for a lot of things, right? Yeah. And I have to pay for my own insurance. And you know, a friend of mine who was a street nurse said that another nurse told her that insure is like a candy bar and a vitamin. Yeah. And uh, that's not healthy food. Healthy food, in the doctor's opinion, is greens, healthy greens, a certain kind of protein, yeah. fruit every day, you know, that yeah. kind of stuff. But so, there's a lot of us that can't afford it. Yeah. It's because of the high rent, for yeah. one. And plus you only have like about 16 or 17 dollars left after paying the rent and all the bills. Do you mind saying what your uh, rent is and how much you have left over? Um, I have, my rent is 780 and I only get 850 so that's it. That's very that's, sad. That's what's with my, um, my bill money in that. And I have nothing left over. Yeah. And I, I've been denied from food banks because of, um, they said, well, where does all your check go? And I show it and everything. And I was just like, oh my God, you got me. But you're asking me where all my money goes. And I was like, for, for an example, I went into welfare and I talked to the outreach worker there. And um, he says, oh, I think you better go to a treatment center. A social worker told me that. I said, you know what? It says it on, book, on page 156 in the book. I, I said, I got my BSW. So I know you cannot deny it. And, then, and I said, for one thing, you cannot tell me to go to a treatment center. That's what really takes me. Yeah, he did that. That's good. It's the outreach worker at the quarter. It, you know, I, I I don't understand. We're supposed to have a human rights here in Canada, the basic right of housing, yeah. and we can't afford it. Uh, all our checks go to the landlord every yeah. month. It makes us have divide between landowners and the poor because we get resentful of giving all that money for their kids to go to school, for them to go travel, for them yeah. to pay their bills, but no one's helping us pay our yeah. bills. You know that. And yeah, that's why I'm having a hard time this month is yeah. because of all my money went to the rent and all that. Yeah. yeah. Every month. Every month. Are your children with you now? Yeah, they are. How old are they? 16 and 15. Wow. So you could so use I, food? I, yeah, I, I can use food and finances for my grandkids. I got five grandkids. So what do you have to say to any of these potential politicians uh, about poverty right now? What, what should they be doing as soon as they get in? Give, give more help. What's the number one help? What would you say? The number one help is housing. The number one, is, or the other one, would be for food and that. And if, if they want to complain about the homeless being out there, why can't they build proper housing for them instead of building all these condos? Yeah. And these condos are going rotten because they're not selling. And meanwhile, they could use it for homeless. Thing with my, with me, I view towers. I got um, six months to. Um, live in the building but I, I've been there close to a year now. Yeah, I know. I met you there. Yeah. 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 And it's really hard to live there but I'm not judging them. No. They're yeah. a human being. They bleed the same. They walk the same. Yeah. And it's just like I've seen so many people getting denied from even transition houses. I was one of them. I had to sleep outside with my children. Shame. Yeah. Thanks, Ethel. Anything else you want to say? Look at 